Well, hello, Leo. How are you doing today, my lovies? Okay, so we're going to do um, a segment that's called Should I Trust Them, okay? If you're like waiting for someone to come back or if someone has reached out to you and it's like, hey, look, you know, I want to try to make this work and, you know, I want to make this, you know, <laughs> you know, or if the guys have, oh, hi, I just wanted to see, you know, if we could try again. We're going to see if this is like, remember, it's not going to resonate with everybody, but I thought it would be kind of fun. Okay. We're going to find out, can I trust them, their intentions? Will it last? Why now? Hidden people? And is it true love? Okay? Is it real love? And then we're going to just like probably try to do an outcome. So I'm not trying to make these extra long. Okay? So, 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 Leo, please understand that these may not resonate with every single Leo. It may not resonate with every single Leo out there. So please be mindful of that. I get, okay, I don't get, but you know, I just sometimes people just like, yeah, I don't know. They just kind of take things to they get a little addicted to readings. It's okay, because I, I do that too sometimes. But, you know, just be very mindful that not every story, you know, can match every single zodiac sign. So, stay in touch. Somebody's sad that somebody's got some confidence. Oops. Somebody's a little, a little sad that somebody got some confidence in, in, in the system. Okay, so... Let's see what's going on. Spirit, thank you for being here. Sign Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. Can you trust them? Their intentions? Will it last? Why now? Hidden people? Is there hidden people? Is it real love? True love? And we're going to get two cards for the outcome. Okay. So, Leo, 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 let's see, babies. Let's see, my loves. Okay. So, can you trust this person, Leo? I think you can. I think you can trust them. It looks like they're waiting, okay? Looks like they're kind of in a waiting period right now, trying to figure out, hey, is Leo coming back? Not, nah, you know, is Leo coming back? Is she, is she, is she he going to respond to my text? You know, they get my text. Okay, so, yeah. Maybe their intentions. Ooh, their intentions is to transform. Is it trans? To transform is to go through a transformation. Leo, this person's waiting on you, and at the time while they're waiting, it seems like you. Can you trust them? Yes, I believe you can. They're going through a transformation. So whatever this person was doing before, yeah, they they're going through a serious transformation. They're closing out old cycles, things that no longer serve them. You know, it, it could be for you or it could be just for themselves. It'd be better if it was for themselves. But hey, you know, we never know. Okay, remember, this is not going to resonate with every single person. So please keep that in mind. Okay. All right. Will it last? Okay. Yes, it will. Because you will be moving forward. Cherry, it could be dealing with the cancer. Um, we got Scorpio and we got Scorpio. We got fire and we got uh, cancer here. Water. Water and fire here so far. Yeah, can will it last? I believe it will. You guys will move forward. I do believe so. And you'll keep going. That's what I'm seeing this as, intuitively. Why now? Why now? <laughs> Why now? It's because they, they feel uh, they they don't feel confident without you. They don't feel the, they don't feel confident. They feel a little bit upset, a little bit cheated. Um they they feel um I'm trying to figure out a way to say this without sounding so like, you know, stuck up. Like this person's just stuck up. They feel like, you know, you're out there, you know, just turn your nose up to them. Like, because you're better than them. That's what they feel. Okay. So why now? Because, you know, they, they really want you back. They, they, they figure, they figure that you're out there giving your attention and love to everybody else. And they're, they're insecure at this time. They're insecure, you know, because with, with you, Leo, it seems to me, especially being under the three of wands, this person knows that you have that attitude, that spunk about you, and you're not going to put up with their shit. Okay, so I think this person's going to transfer, going through a transformation right now because they know that they can't come in playing games with you, okay? Is there any hidden people in this person's energy? 
No, there is not anybody hidden in their energy. In fact, they're not even stressing over anybody else. They want you. Okay? They want you. They think about you at night. I think that this in reverse to me and this with the cards that are surrounding it, this person is tiny a bit stressed if you're going to allow them to come back in. If you're going to even say anything to them. Are you going to respond? How are they going to... They're trying to figure out how to situate the whole thing. Okay? So, Leo... That's, 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 is there any hidden people? No, there's no hidden people in this situation. So, especially under the death card, like, this person's trying to close out some things. So that way they can, you know, do better. You know, if you know better, you do better. So this person's trying to get some knowledge up underneath their belt. So that way they can do better by you, Leo. That's what I'm feeling. Is it real love? Okay, is it real? Is it true? I believe that it is. I believe this person uh, really just... I feel in this energy that someone here had put someone into a third party situation. And I think it was by mingling and drinking with the wrong crowd. I think this person hangs around with the wrong type of people, bad influences, and they do want to come in genuinely. They're waiting, but at the same time, they're trying to transform. They're closing out things. Is this true love? Is it real love? I do believe it is, Leo. I do believe it is. I just think that the people that they're around, they got to get, they, they got to let go of these people. The three of cups to me in this situation in, in the reverse is low vibration people. These people drink, they party a lot. They just, and they give bad advice. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's like someone gets bad advice, but this person will be moving forward with you away from these people. Okay. This person's going to get a little wake up call. They're going to be like, look, I need my Leo. I need my Leo. I need somebody that is going to keep me in my, that's going to keep me in my, in, you know, in my place, you know, because some people do like, you know, some women, some men, they do like it when someone, you know, is kind of aggressive with them. And I ain't talking about punching anybody or smacking them and all that. I'm just saying, you know, some people like that type of stuff. Keeping someone in check. There you go. The correct word. All right. The, the, the probable outcome. This person's going to come out of their, out of their shell. Okay. But I think they're going to be a little bit sad if you do not accept them. They're, they're going to feel despair. They're going to feel like they're, they're going to they're, they're feel hopelessness if you don't accept them, okay? It's not, you don't have to take this person back. You don't even have to answer their message. This is just a segment called, can I trust them? You know, you know, if someone's coming back, they want to try to make something work out. This is what I'm seeing intuitively on this spread, okay? Asking my spirit guide. So it's not going to resonate with everybody, but if this person's going to come out of their little hiding spot, okay? And they're in there and they're going to be a little bit sad. Okay. If you don't accept them, they're going to feel a bit hopeless. I'm also getting that this person's going through right now. They're going through healing. Okay. They're refusing to do the real healing and they're, and, and they're not healing correctly. They're refusing to go within correctly and to do the real healing correctly. And I feel like that was kind of like in the past, but now this person's going to come out of this. Okay, Leo, that's what I'm intuitively feeling. This person will come out of this, this despair and stuff. But, you know, I think that's with any sign or with any person. If someone wants to come back for a second chance and they end up getting turned down, it's going to hurt their feelings, okay? It's going to make them feel sad. But, hey, that's the risk that you take. When you screw up on, when you screw over people, you better make sure that you don't burn no bridges because you might need to cross over again, all right? That's very important. I, I've heard that from somewhere, but <laughs> you'll sit here and say, oh, I made it up, Leo. I got this. No, I don't. <laughs> I didn't make that shit up, but look, you know, this is, this is the probable outcome. So is, can this person be trusted? I believe that they can be. You just got to give them a little time for them to get, you know, to end some cycles, to end some things. They're kind of waiting for you to kind of open up because I think they're kind of intimidated by you, Leo. I'm not going to lie. They already know where you're standing, what you're not going to deal with and what you will be putting up with. But nine times out of 10, I see you're not putting up with a lot of BS. I see that clearly here in this uh in this spread right here so you know i mean is spirit gonna if spirit's wanting to allow this then this that's what's gonna happen now i'm gonna put what your person's feeling right now okay through the um soul's journey is that what this is called the soul's journey we're gonna see what your person's feeling right now okay because the tarot is a lot different from this oh oh dang that's a lot okay leo but i'll do it okay adversity i accept the challenges that are that's the best way to learn yeah i told you this person's having to go through some things having to close out some cycles having to get rid of some stuff grief i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it yep 
They're going to learn to appreciate you more. They're, they're kind of grieving. That's why I said they're kind of waiting for you to come, you know, to them a bit. Because it's like this person just really doesn't know what they're going to get from you, the Leo. They already know you're not going to put up with no BS. So just be thankful on that part that they already know who they're, they, they, they ain't, you ain't putting up with it. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Yeah, this person is a little bit afraid. Okay, a little bit in denial. You know, like uh, they they just they they make it seem like there's a big old huge elephant in like. Let's say they go outside, and all of a sudden they see that they they're afraid to go outside because they think that there's going to be something at the door that's going to come in and cause them to get sick or something's going to cause them to pass away. Something crazy. Not not I won't say crazy, but you know they're. They're trying to acknowledge that this is just, you know, something that I got to do. And if I don't do it, close mouths don't get fed. That's what I feel here with this card. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. What did I say about that transformation? This death card up here. This person's trying to do a transformation. They're trying to get rid of old cycles. People that do not long, no longer serve them. People that have been in their life that are not good for them. That's what they're doing, Leo. Okay, so if you're wondering what this person is doing, they're kind of making some changes, all right? They they really are, all right? Now, the thing is, is that remember, this story, it's not going to resonate with every single Leo out there. So I just want you guys to be mindful of that. There's some Leos I'm feeling for that this is going to resonate with. And there's some that I'm just going to, you know, that are just, that it's not for you, okay? So just take what is and leave what isn't. I just want to keep reminding people that. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yeah, they see you. As you being so courageous, Leo, you are so courageous. You are so strong. You're out there. You're able to express yourself. You're able to, you don't keep your mouth closed. Like I said here, closed mouths don't get fed. Okay. This grieving, this person keeping their, you know, sitting here waiting. They, they're they going to have to get over that on their own. You can't bring them out of that shell, but you know, you can, you can influence them. You know how you are, Leo. You're outspoken. Okay. Well, whatever Leo I'm reaching out to has courage. They don't mind stepping up for people. They don't mind stepping up for themselves. They don't mind speaking their truth. So this Leo that I'm speaking of, this person knows who you are, okay? They know you got that fire about you, all right? You ain't scared. You're not scared, all right? All right, let's see what needs to be surrendered, okay? What does this person need to surrender or what does Leo need to surrender, Spirit, at this time to come together? It's what they're trying to do. If they really want to come together, okay. All right, you will need to surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to learn. To, you, the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. And this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. I don't know if you can see that, Leo, but hey, the lighting that I got up in here, shoot, I ain't changing this lighting. Damn, my shirt keeps rolling up. I must be getting a little fat. Dang, okay. <laughs> but yeah surrender your belief in scarcity things can happen leo okay you need to just imagine imagine believe believe talk with your spirit guides now i got some cards that i did y'all know I'm, I'm fancy about my cards these are big huge cards okay and they basically i'm gonna keep them like this okay i can't shuffle them they're so big so i'm gonna take out a card and i'm gonna see you know, um, is this person, is, is this going to work out? Okay. This is going to be the final outcome as well. Okay. So I'm looking up, don't worry. I'm looking up and I don't know what I'm picking. Okay. So I'm going to pick this one up under here. So you guys are believing me. You believe in me. All right. It says it hurts, but no, you will get past this bullshit. Oh, <laughs> wow. Leo, it hurts, but no. So that's the final outcome with all of this, with all of this. I felt intuitively that you guys would be moving forward. This person's going through a change. That's what I feel. It hurts you now, but they say no. You'll get past this bullshit. You might already be past this person. That's why they're afraid to kind of contact you. Okay? So that that, that took a turn for a, a different spin in the matter. But, um, you know, the thing that I'm also getting here is um you're believing as if you need to do some changes leo and you may need to and it hurts but maybe no this person's not the one that's the problem you know you'll get through you you will get past the bullshit this bullshit meaning that you'll get past all these thoughts in your mind you know maybe it's not this person that is you know maybe you want to say 
that this person is the one that needs to do changing. Maybe there is something that you need to be changing also, Leo. I'm not being mean. All right. You know, I love you guys. I'm a Leo myself. But maybe there's some changes that you need to make. And it says, it hurts, but no, you will get past this bullshit. It hurts, but this is not the... This hurts right now, but this may not just be the culprit of this person. It could be you also. You will get past it. Both of you will get past it. Maybe together, maybe not. Remember, it doesn't resonate with everyone. So I appreciate you being here, Leos. I hope that you enjoyed that. And I will see you for the next vid. And I hope you guys do so well. Be safe and healthy. All right, till then, bye-bye.